Right then guys, welcome to the video. Shine away from the bikes this week. What I'm gonna do in this episode is look at a bit of a tooling video. As much as I enjoy messing around with the bikes and making bits for the bikes, obviously I need a good set of tools to be able to come up with these, these ideas and these bits and pieces for the bike and custom bits and what have you. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is fitting this digital linear scale on my Warco lathe, so Warco mini lathe. They come in two different sizes, so you've got 150mm and you've also got the 300mm, which this one is. So this is what I'm going to fit to the Z-axis on the lathe itself. Um, I did think, or I did look into, in fact I got a bit further than looking into, because I actually purchased a few bits to make um, a scale for the the lathe itself so yeah I'd already gone ahead purchased a very cheap digital caliper and then I was just going to cut that down and fix it to the lathe somehow so yeah I was going to go down that route pretty cheap I think this was about £13 or from Banggood uh, but in the end I just decided I've got other stuff to be doing so let's go the easy route right so let's have a bit of a look at what's included in the kit Nice set of instructions that are in English. Uh, uh, so you've got a bag of batteries, a couple of batteries, and some brackets as well for I'm assuming mounting the scales. So here we've got the scale. So fairly simple. It's kind of like your digital caliper thingy-majig that I showed you earlier uh, but obviously you ain't got all the bits on it to you know, get in your way you don't have to do anything to it so it makes it slightly easier um, nice little readout very simple uh, on the back we've got battery compartment uh, some kind of locating apertures and wondering if these are magnets yeah so they're magnets so they can just go straight onto the lathe don't have to worry about anything so pretty simple uh, and let's get it fitted to the lathe so i'm going to be fitting the scale to the back of the lathe and it weighs a ton so i'm just going to clean as much of or get rid of as much as the weight as possible and then yeah shuffle it around as best i can so we can get the back of the lathe that's the plan that's the plan Exciting. Right, okay, so back of the lathe, and what I'm going to start to do is offer up the scale kind of roughly to where I want it to be. I've got a couple of issues where it's currently located. Uh, so this threaded hole here, uh, basically this is the mounting point for the splash guard. So I may need to do a bit of modification to that splash guard. This side shouldn't be too much of an issue. The splash guard has got a bit of a slope section here and there should be just enough room to be able to fit the scale in. Now, the brackets that come with the scale itself, so these ones here 
uh, don't quite work for what I need to do with the mountain. So what I've done is just kind of mocked up this very kind of quick bracket. So it's just made out of a bit of scrap. So that is going to mount there on the carriage. So what I'm going to need to do now is just kind of drill and tap a couple of holes and then I can mount that to the actual scale itself. Right, okay, so we've got the scale in place, uh, so that's sitting there quite happily. What I need to do now is drill and tap the rail kind of section. So at either end of the rail section, I need to tap and drill a hole. I think what I'm going to do is uh, run the carriage all the way to the chuck side, mark up the position of the hole there, and then once that's marked up, run the carriage back to the other side, and then mark up the position of the hole there. Okay, so that is the holes drilled and tapped for the scale ends. Uh, now, I didn't show you how I tapped uh, the holes, mainly because I had a bit of an issue doing that. So, uh, the standard tap wrench, I couldn't get the kind of spin on it just because there's too much uh, stuff in the way. The T-bar tap wrench just didn't have enough grip on the tap, so it just kept spinning, so there was no kind of purchase on it. So, in the end, I had to kind of revert to something quite barbaric. Ah! Anyhow, it worked, it's sorted out anyway. So what I need to do now is basically put everything back together. Um, I've had to cut a couple of shims for the scale ends just to bring out the scale partially from the bed. Okay, so that's the scale fitted to the lathe. It's all bolted up, tightened up now, and the sensor runs up and down with the carriage really nicely. So I've made some slight alterations to the splash guard. Nothing too serious, so basically all I've done is just kind of cut this additional part out here, just so it's able to fit over the scale itself. Right, okay, so let's give this DRO a bit of a test. So what I'm gonna do is one carriage all the way up to a bit of stock. Zero it off there. And I'm going to wind the carriage all the way back. And then wind it back to the piece of stock. And hopefully it should read zero. <laughs> Not bad. I'm quite surprised by that actually. Brilliant. Well chuffed. Right then guys, that's it for this tooling video. So next time we'll be working back on the bike, so working with the spring front end. So I took a bit of a break from working on the Springer just due to the fact that I have been working on it continuously uh, for quite some time now. So it's always nice and kind of refreshing just to kind of jump onto something else and give you a bit of, a, I don't know, fresh perspective on things. Uh, as well as that, obviously I hurt my hand um, and uh, I was probably having a bit of bonding time with the lathe just to kind of yeah, work things out with the lathe so yeah so to add to that as well I also needed uh, the DRO on the lathe just to be able to machine some parts for the spring front end now it wasn't really a necessary item but uh, like I've mentioned in the past if there's something I, I kind of want to do uh, if there's a tool and I need I'll just yeah, acquire it somehow. So yeah, particularly with the Springer, I've got to machine some parts up for it. So the bronze, uh, bronze bushes for the rockers, and also uh, some of the fixing mounting points for the spring sections as well. So just makes it a hell of a lot easier for working on those parts uh, to build up the spring front end. Now, if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. That is greatly appreciated. I'm getting really close to my personal goal now. So if you could like, subscribe, that would be much appreciated. So until next time, see you then.